Hello everyone and welcome to SharePoint Developer Training Course Programming C Sharp 4.0 Lesson 7. Today we're going to be talking about increment and decrement operators. Let's open up Visual C Sharp Express. And at the top you'll see today's itinerary. We'll be looking at again the increment and decrement. We'll also be looking at the calculate and reassign operators. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a variable, an integer. And now let's go ahead and add one to it. So if we would do that, we'd go my var equal my var plus one. And we can do it again, my var equal my var plus one. We'll do our console right line and let's see here we have one <coughs> one plus one equals two and one plus or two plus one equals three so let's go ahead and run the program and we have three so now shorthand there's a shorthand notation for this so what we can do instead of doing this my var equals my var plus one thing, we can go ahead and do my var plus plus. My var plus plus. I forgot the semicolon. And then we have three. So basically that's a shorthand way of doing things. And now this gets pretty important once we start entering loops and uh, you know it, it's just a way to simplify our code, make it more readable in my opinion, and have a lot less stuff to type. Now the reverse is also true. We can go 3 minus 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 and run. So we have 3, 2, 1. Right, so we have 3. 3 minus 1, 2. 2 minus 1, 1. Okay, now something else we can do is the, uh, so we, we went over the increment, which is when you add something, and decrement is when you reduce something. And now we can uh, calculate something. So let's go ahead and just remove this. We'll make this 100. And just say we want to multiply by 10. So we'll do my bar star equals 10. So we should get a thousand now, right? And then we can also do the same thing. We can do instead of multiplication, we can add. So now we'll get 110. And finally, we can subtract, and now we should get 90. Okay, so that's all pretty straightforward. Now we're going to get into something that can be a little more confusing. So we'll go ahead and just delete this again. Leave that 100 and we'll do my var plus plus. So yeah, I always forget these semicolons. This is a postfix operator. And this is a Prefix operator. So let's see here. All right, 100 plus 1 plus 1, so 102. So what in the world is the difference? Let's try this out. Okay, create another variable. My result. Set that, and we'll remove this. Okay, and we'll do my bar actually no my result sorry equals my bar plus plus changes to my result so what are we going to get here so we have a hundred my result we don't even really need that my result equals 
my var plus plus. So we should have what? My var is 100 plus 1, 101 equals my result, right? No. See, it's actually not true. And this is because it's a postfix operator, it happens after the assignment. So if we do this, which is a prefix, I'll change this to prefix operator, the, this will actually occur before the assignment. So this time we have 100. We go ahead and increment my var. It's still an increment operator, it's just a prefix operator and happens before the assignment. So now we have 100 plus 1, 101, and then we assign it to my result. Well, that's it for today's lesson. Uh, basically, you're probably still not real familiar with when we're going to use this stuff, but in the later chapters, we're going to be using uh, increment and decrement and prefix and postfix operators all the time, especially in uh, loop constructs. So, again, thanks for joining us, and I'll see you for the next lesson.